Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to undervolt your computer using Throttlestab. First, you're going to download the application itself. Go into the website and look for the latest version of Throttlestab. You will download the file, you'll get a zip file. Once you do, you're going to unzip it anywhere. I choose to unzip it in the root of my hard drive. You'll see why in a few minutes. Once the first time you open the application you're gonna get this window. Here you can see the temperatures of each core in your CPU and plenty other information of your package. You're gonna go into the FIVR tab to undervolt your CPU. Once inside this tab you wanna check the CPU core, tick unlock adjustable voltage set it to adaptive and decrease the voltage itself. As you can see I've already undervolted my CPU. This value leads to a stable undervolt on mine. Yours can be different so you should check in about minus 10 millivolt at a time. Do not forget about this one. Check CPU cache, take again unlock adjustable voltage set it to adaptive and then offset voltage to the same undervolt as the CPU core. If you don't do this and only undervolt this one, temperatures won't be as low as if you do both. It happened to me, so this might be handy to you. Then you click on OK, save voltages immediately and then apply OK. So once you do that, the settings will be saved but you want this to be applied and start up and instead of running the application each time you log into Windows. So first, let's configure the application itself. You go into Options, you're going to tick Start Minimized, and then Minimize and Close. These two options will grant the following. This one will make it start right into the tray. And this one will make it so if you close the application on close, just go down here. Be sure to untick taskbar. If you don't, it will stay here instead of in this tray. Once you do that, the next thing you want to do is set a task so it runs at startup. You should use the default task manager, or I mean scheduler. Do this, search for task, go into the task scheduler application of Windows, and you'll get this window. What you want to do that next is go and create task. Give it a name, description, and I'll show you what you have to put here. As you can see, I've already made a task myself to run thorough stop when my computer starts. I gave it a name, description, and these are the parameters. I set it to run only with this user is logged in. Then you have to set up a trigger. Click on new, click on add login of any user. Click on OK, and there's a trigger. This will make the application run when you log in with any user profile on your system. Then, the action itself. You click on New, Start a Program, Browse, and look for the Throttle Stop shortcut. As you can see, this is why I unzip the file on my root. On Conditions, you want to untick this one. Start a task only if the computer is an AC power since your laptop is going to be undervolted and with and without the power supply. On settings, pretty much leave this as is. Click on OK. Yeah. Now this should make throttle stop run any, every time you log into Windows. And this will warranty that your undervolt profile is running at any time. Now, 
you should play with these values a lot until you get the proper undervolt as this will decrease your temperatures a lot will improve your performance and improve the lifespan of your laptop so this is my first YouTube video and look at this you can check in this tool for example that the undervolt is applied you can check here and here this is the CPU core this is the CPU cache on throttle stop if you like this video leave a like if you want more content subscribe leave a comment and any suggestions